is crazy. And I thought I was having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. To say the least. Did he mess with you too? He started too earlier, but I bought too much stuff just to piss him off. Huh. <laughs> Welcome to Redneck Land. The Saint Seattle no more. All those creepy wooden bears should have been a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. You could call that place the Bear Witch Project. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. We should have turned back straight away. Still don't trust well, don't this guy though. You little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road too. <laughs> What's under the blanket? <laughs> Come on, I'm not stupid. He nabbed the puppy on the way out. Daniel. <laughs> what? We saved her. We're heroes. Yeah. yeah. Guess we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Max. Hey, your dog. Chloe. Your choice. Oh, Rachel. Cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about Sophia? Uh, mushroom. Mushroom. Yeah, she totally looks like a mushroom. Uh, go yeah, on then. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So uh, do I. All right, mushroom it is then. Mushroom the dog. Oh yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, mushroom. You got the best name ever now. <laughs> Mushroom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. <laughs> You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. He's the same dude as well. What year was this? 98? <laughs> no. 2016. I've forgotten. Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money, but huh. no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Yeah. Whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. True. Man, that sounds cool. Don't you ever get kind of lonely? Uh, there's a big difference between alone and lonely. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. And you probably meet a lot of people out here. That's right. The unseen side of America. The strange hmm. side. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, I'd be like my family. Don't yawn, it's contagious. Day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Surely he's read the papers, though. Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Hmm. Uh... I am not sure I like this situation. Uh, I'm assuming this is another licensed music uh, time as opposed to... But yeah, they, I, I, I kind of feel like they should have replaced it with something, you know, more generic. Um, 
because it, it's, it's weird that they've just left it completely blank. It definitely feels like they've they've missed a trick. They they could have put something to evoke the same atmosphere. It kind of feels like a little bit of a half-assed way of doing it. Not sure I'm a fan of that. North Oregon. Hmm. Three hours later. Oh, there goes the wind trail. Spoopy. Yeah, I I'm wondering whether this guy actually knows who we are. Kind of get the feeling like he does... like the edge of the world. Hmm. It's like it's been... Hey, listen. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in yeah. Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... <laughs> fucking cops. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be alright. I'm assuming Daniel's gonna have heard this. Take a deep breath. hard to be comforted in a time like this when you're so angry listen I'm really sorry this happened to you man injustice is everywhere and you're taking the brunt of it right now but you're gonna be okay Sean ow ow how my life feels like, like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. Oh, is this... Like I have nothing. This is Arcadia Bay, isn't it? That's why well, I asked us sure to make that is. choice. That's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Yeah, Sean, he's got no clue. At some point. You have to tell him. You're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. There's the never a right time. Address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just. It's not gonna be easy. Nope. No, it's not. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking. Get out of the country? Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long haul traveler. It's a long way down to Mexico. 
Should I go back to Seattle? I think that must Maybe be the lighthouse. Explain everything in the background what happened? on you the cliff. Do what you think is best, and that's what Katie down Mexico there. If going seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. It doesn't really look like the town, though, does it? You have family there? <sighs> Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents, we don't see anymore. What about your mom? Uh, no, no way. She's out of the, out picture. Of the picture. Oh, <laughs> it's almost like I wrote this. Dad, I didn't. He always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. Little so spot. Great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. For the souls lost in the Arcadia Bay storm, October 11th, 2013. Listen, I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Be interesting to see what this scene looks like if you choose the other option. That's a little bit of fan service, I suppose, there. So three years have passed since the original. Doggy! <laughs> Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. <laughs> um, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> oh, man. That's a really nicely composed. Glad to see him act like a kid again. That's all he does. How will I tell him? Too bad sandcastles never last. We're so lucky Brody helped us. Yeah, you really are. If it wasn't for him, we... Would be in real shit right now. Cone. All right, uh, more camp chill fire. Don't recall cool for now. No clue about dad. Gonna keep it that way. To dad. Gotta keep moving. Hello, real world. Weirdo, but cool. Holy shit, crazy racist played sheriff and trapped me in this shithole. Daniel saved my ass, kid is brave AF. What happened? Earthquake. Birdie's awesome. Picked an odd mushroom on the way out. Dip Arcadia Bay. Fuck tornadoes. Yep. What are the numbers for? Oh, they're bits and pieces that you've looked at on the way. I assume there'll be a kind of a collectible mode where you can... Uh, I wonder if this is like an option that we could have used to, to draw stuff. Guess I could play a little with these two. Yes. I guess. Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? 
Well, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Oh, I actually get to, uh... Come on, Mushroom. Get it. Go, Mushroom. It's Duck Hunt. Oh, wait. Uh... Mushroom? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Good doggo. Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. I think we can't. Now she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. <laughs> you go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. Stranger saved his life. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Okay. You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody. to... You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a huh. goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean... Ho, 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 ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. He's, got, he's loaded, isn't he, so... Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. What is that? And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, what is do you it? think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Huh. <laughs> Doggy in a bandana. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, a tribe called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can. Okay? Yeah, we will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. Brody hug. <laughs> uh, wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. Adventure calls. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. That's a nicely composed shot as well. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Arcadia Bay. Point. Okay. Time to hit the sack. We seals motel. Don't worry, mushroom. I got you. New item added to inventory. Some leaves. AFK. Uh, oh, that's a, uh, a, a what's it? A, a night mask. Sean, I'm a better writer than I am a speaker. That's why I'm writing this letter while you and Daniel are asleep in the car. I am sorry that I can't take you further, but there's a good reason to it. As dysfunctional as it can be, family is family. 
When we met, I was on my way to Utah, and my mom is currently losing a battle against cancer, and I have to be there. Got a few dollars in the backpack. All the cash I have left, but you... The goal is good, and you need to follow your instinct, but please be careful and protect your book, no matter what. You'll see when you tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you strong together, if it. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you truly rely on. In any case, I think you'll be safer there than you are here. A dead cop in the current state of things would not be a good way to start negotiations. Wish I could have met you two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I could help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. Yes, hit me up when you're safe. A tribe called West. I'm always online when not driving. Been a while since I used a pen. Hope you decipher. And yes, we've got a little cash there. Shit. Right. Okay, good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Uh, Dude, it's a motel. a motel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Uh, seven, three, six. Fifteen. Fifteen. Eleven. Door. <laughs> I'm too excited, dude. Check it out. It even has a bathtub. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too, and there's a balcony. You're here for a night, Whoa, bro. This is Don't nice. get too excited. And warm. And you can charge your phone up. <sighs> this bed is soft. Well. What about this one? Uh, not bad, but too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Go for it. Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, uh, there's no way you can beat me, bud. Ready? I am so ready to beat you. Oh, God. I won! Nope. <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't <laughs> be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. <laughs> All right. I'm going to run a bath. Would totally reek. Especially you, Pidpen. I wouldn't be so sure, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Uh -huh. Oh, cool! Hot Dog Man is on! Oh, God. Thanks for everything, Brody. I'll be extra careful. Oh, but. I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. <laughs> yeah. Don't think we'll be coming back this way. Free ice, free Wi-Fi. Any spare clothes? Iron. Tie. I can see why they left that tie. Yeah, that's hideous. A cheap souvenir for a cheap trip. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm gonna sweep the carpet. I tried to iron my shirts once. Burned a hole through them. Ironing is hard, yo. Okay, nothing exciting in there. Outside, flyers. Prody gave us some cash so we can take one of these tomorrow. They're headed south. Yeah, let's go hike tomorrow. Just for fun. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Fuck Halloween. No! I wish we could go. Halloween's there, awesome. And nothing happened. TV together. Daniel's shoes, no thanks. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go and. I miss GPS already. But at least we're progressing south. 
Arcadia Bay Lighthouse. So we're in the same area. Hotel rules. No worries. We don't have to build a fire tonight. Please enjoy your stay. Uh, oh. Turn the lights on. Go. Oh. Time to be a kid again. Uh. This episode is awesome. You should sit down and watch it with me. Probably sit down and watch it. Uh, I want to check the phone first. Oh, I can't check the phone. Go on then. Let's. So, what's up? The buns want to catch a hot dog man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes, and they get to meet the city mayo. <sighs> Man, it's been ages. Uh... Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude. Dude. I've seen it so many times. Dude. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. <laughs> Feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> True. I can't comment. I so rarely watch TV. But this is all... Look at his face. Big dumb grin. Okay. I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know. But I gotta take care of the bath. True. Don't forget you're up soon. I know. Right. Bath. Let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. <laughs> Mushroom, look! Paint it. Hot dog man. Damn. I could paint this shit. <laughs> I could paint that in about five minutes, to be fair. Bell back. Daniel, you have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fill her up. Hot water. Ah, baths. Ugh. Yuck, Sean. It's a condom in my bath. <laughs> Gross. Hey. Daniel will love this. Tub. One bubble bath coming up. Brother of the month. Yeah. Yeah, right. Man, this hot water is going to feel so good. Clean up. My hair feels like it's coated in dirt. A shower okay. after Daniel will be bliss. Because it's coated in dirt. Damn. That fucking redneck hit me hard. Yeah. Turn the other cheek, they said. Ah, I like the bubbles in the foreground. Oh, there's a hairdryer there. Right, how will I know when this is ready? Ah. Like that. Hey, Daniel. Bath's ready. What? Already? Yes. Can I finish this episode first? <laughs> no, man. You smell so bad, there's no time to lose. <laughs> Don't take the dog in hey, the bath. You smell too. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking the bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't <laughs> worry. God. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. But, but, ugh. Time to say goodbye to modern life. You're not gonna look at it at all. What's the point of charging it if you're just gonna throw it away? Lila's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this. 
or she'll get into trouble too. Ah. He's your best friend. Sean? Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh, God. Are you okay? I guess. I'm... I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit! Everyone's looking for you here. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked Stupid up. Stupid question, really. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. Mm. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. You know I wish I could, but we can't take that risk. They're, they're gonna put me in juvie. And Daniel... Bullshit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. There won't be any dirty Mexican and Asian chick gathering for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. And... I don't know whether that was a good idea or not, but it's what I would okay. do in the situation. Wait. Okay, okay. And... Action! in here right now. What? What did I do? You forgot to open this present. <laughs> what is this? Socks? Underwear? That's it? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? That's what I got when I was a kid. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dude, check out your face. Wait, what? What? There's another one here. What is it? Daniel, let me help. Looks bigger than underwear. Oh! What? No way! Can't believe it! The new Playbots? Thank you, Santa! Hey, don't look at me. You were a good boy this year. <laughs> yeah. Lucky boy. Daniel, this is for the whole family too, right? So you gotta share with me. <laughs> I wanna play that game uh, where you steal cars and go <laughs> on high-speed pursuit. <laughs> Dad. You totally suck at games. Oh yeah, track star? I was the dodgeball champ of my high school. So duck! Ow! No fair! I wonder if we're gonna run out of time. Don't crush the play box. Hey, let's set it up! Dad, come on! Ow! Okay, my ball now. Watch out! I think we have to. Oh, man. <sighs> okay. Don't uh, think about it. Just... Tell Daniel the truth. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! Man, I... I can't dance right now. My legs are thrashed. 
Sorry. <sighs> You're no fun. Daniel. Oh, there should have been some music uh, on. Come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? Oh. Uh, I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Okay. I'll get you a soda. But when I come back... Oh, just... We're going to talk. Uh, Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Mmm... This is the same situation that we had in um, in the farewell episode of Life is Strange. Where things got put off and put off and put off. Spookiness is happening. Daniel. What the? Oh, fuck. Whoa. Oh my god. Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! You lied! Dad! Our dad is dead! Ah, oh, shit, he's on TV. It was an accident. I fucked up, and a cop shot him. No. No. It's not true. I'm so sorry. Why? Why did you lie to me? I just wanted to protect you until I could... Protect me for what? You? Whoa. I... I hate you! Not my brother! Don't say that. I know I messed up everything. We're gonna get through this. Don't touch me! Daniel, please! Oh. It's okay. Man. I want that. Well, I think we've established that you can't have him. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you told me we were going to see Dad. I'm sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I'll try, Daniel, but I need to protect you now, at any cost. I don't care. I'm not a baby. Bubblehead. Uh, mm -mm. You don't need to protect me. Yes, I do. I'm yourself, by the look of it. It's just you and me now. Are we not going to talk about the telekinetic I tornado? I fail you. <laughs> what are we going to do without him? Shh. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Yes, we're not going to talk about the telekinetic tornado. Is that going to be the end of the episode? Sean. Huh? Am I? A superhero. Monster. monster. Close Nothing enough. Nothing is wrong with you. Uh, uh, um, mm. you Different. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to talk about it at but least. What are we going to do now? I was thinking maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. Uh, as long as we're together. I think we're probably going to end up having to go home at some points. Like he did. 
I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories, too. There's just some incidental music like this at other points where there was licensed music. Wild world. There were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But it's a metaphor. But one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. A really thinly veiled metaphor. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey. It'd be interesting if there was like a time jump or something. Like, I imagine they're going to do the same kind of thing that they did with the first game where each episode is in... Well, no, I suppose it can't be subsequent days, can it? Because we've already had like two or three days in this particular episode. If there's anybody else on this bus that we should be uh, keeping an eye on. bus yeah they, they've definitely uh, up the lighting and the graphical fidelity for this good crepuscular rays that's going to be the end of the episode maybe with a little stinger for the next time possibly Okay, so that is episode one. Um, very kind of... A very impactful beginning. Uh, but lacking the... The hook... I think that kept the first game going in those initial hours. Um, the fact that you are not the person with the powers this time um, removes, I think, some of the the cool factor of it. You know, the fact that in the in, in the opening of Life is Strange, obviously, you also had somebody getting shot. But then you got to go through the whole section with Max, figuring out how the time powers worked and figuring out all the cool things that she could do. Whereas with this... It's just not quite as gripping yet. Don't get me wrong, the, the story is, is well told and it's emotional and it's lacking some of the, the cliché, but it's got just as much cringeworthy dialogue. It's certainly got some more modern... Um, and fairly poignant agendas going on, you know, the, the racism uh, and the, the you know the police issues. Um, I'm not trying to downplay any of those things at all. Um, you know, they're, they're they're touchy subjects for a lot of people, and 
a story-driven game like this is a, is a great way of, of talking about them and presenting ideas about them. There's the possibility that I missed an absolute load of stuff. I've almost certainly missed a load of stuff. I did on my first uh, playthrough of the original Life is Strange as well. Um, I'm hoping there'll be a you know a, a collectibles mode that we can go back to and and go and play around with in a bit. Um, but for something that has got such a again a supernatural twist like this. Uh, Sean and Daniel don't seem to have much of a, a reaction to, to what Daniel can do. You know, Max freaks out. Chloe thinks it's amazing. Um, Sean is just like, eh? You know, he, he's watching his little brother in a motel room with a ton of shit swirling around him. And there's almost no reaction to it at all and that does not sit right with me as a as a reaction you know if you were a 16 year old kid which we've all been at one point in time um and and you saw that going on i i don't know i Now, so, something not quite, um, I want to use the word realistic, um, which in that situation is, I suppose, farcical. Um, yeah, so, something's not quite hitting the nail on the head for me there. But I'm, I, don't get me wrong, uh, I, I'm really interested in, in where the story is going and what they're going to do with it. Um, I do wish they put some... Um, you know, uh, unlicensed music in those to, to replace the music bits. It, it was just a bit weird that it went completely silent. Um, that that was a weird choice. But yeah, let's see if there's going to be a uh, a little stinger. It's also possible that they'll do what they did in the first game, uh, where they change the title screen over but with uh, with the first Life is Strange with season one I didn't play it until all the episodes had come out it was one of those things that I'd always meant to get round to but, but never did and obviously I loved it when I did um, this obviously I'm going to have to to wait for the next four episodes of course, it does mean that I can go and you know, check out other people's playthroughs on YouTube and, and see how they've done it and, and what they looked, uh, what they found rather, uh, that I didn't. Um, action babies. Yeah, there's a there's a definite tone narratively that they are going for, which uh, I think a lot of people will be able to to relate to. Um, I'm also fairly convinced uh, that there are going to be uh, a lot of people saying that you know oh the liberal agenda and uh, SJWs and why why are they uh, talking about this and why are they getting political and this that and the other it's like because as Brody says everything is political these days is it just me or is the uh, the titles flickering on some of these labels Yeah, clearly less separate graphics. Um, yeah, you know the uh, the white supremism, I suppose, uh, and the the racism and you know the police stuff at the start. I mean, to be fair to the police officer, um, 
he did tell them what to do and they didn't do it. Um, but he should have very clearly been much cooler. He should have kept his calm. Um, you know, because none, none of the people in front of that police officer were, were attempting to attack him. Uh, and I'm interested to see whether either the police officer or, or well, what was the kid's name, Brad? Um, whether he actually survived. Because all that had happened to him, as far as I could tell, was that, yeah, he, he was covered in fake blood and he fell on a rock, which which, which hurt. I mean, yeah, he did fall onto it on his back, so it's possible that it, you know, did something to his spine. Um, but he, he wasn't dead. He, he was very clearly still alive. Um to the extent that the, the police officer felt his neck. That that shouldn't have killed him. So, I, I, I don't know. I, mean, I, I know that kind of stuff is a, is a hot topic in the US currently. Um, obviously, as a Brit, this isn't really the kind of thing that happens very often. I'm not going to say it doesn't happen at all, um, but it doesn't happen very often over here. Um... But to kick off a story like this, you have to have at least some suspension of disbelief. Yeah, and, and if you can, if you can suspend disbelief long enough to do to, to work with Max's time rewind powers in the first season, then you can certainly suspend disbelief enough to to believe that there's a nervous cop who who's in a. It didn't look like a particularly rough neighbourhood. Uh, and, you know, you're dealing with a 16-year-old and a 9-year-old kid. Um, and a dad who's very clearly doesn't know what's going on. Um, but it's all about perception, isn't it? It's all about appearances and how they can be deceiving. But yeah, I've enjoyed my first, I don't know, what's it been, three, three plus hours? I think... Maybe just just smack on three hours, something like that. I'll find out once I piece all the footage together. I've played all of, all three episodes back to back. Uh, all three episodes. I've played all of this back to back. And it'll be probably three, maybe four episodes. I can't remember how many I've done now. Besides me having to do it in post. <laughs> Game uses Unreal 4, which explains the uh, better lighting. But our dear friend and colleague Michael Sherlock. Uh. Ah! Choices, of course! Ah, right, so let's see what we did. You gave the Choco Chris to Esteban, 32% of that. You kept the Choco Chris for yourself. You told the truth. You hugged him. You didn't take money from the jar. Ah, not that many people questioned Daniel. Everybody else, a lot of people confronted Brett. You didn't steal in the parking lot. You didn't beg for food. Ah, oh, that was at the table. There was an option of begging for food. Didn't steal anything in the gas station. Wow, a lot of people hit Hank and stole the camping gear. Called Lila back, a lot of people did. You promised Daniel you won't lie to... Oh, I was one of only seven... See, I... I don't make promises 
that I'm not sure I'll be able to keep. I, there's no way. You know, I, I'll try and be honest with him because I do value honesty, but I'm not going to promise him um, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it. Daniel learned about trailblazing. Daniel didn't fall in the woods. Daniel built a fort. Daniel didn't do the wood race. Okay. Daniel didn't learn how to skip stones. No, I'm assuming we could have gone down to the river uh, to do that, but we missed that section. Daniel didn't get mad. He had an okay night. Daniel got sick from the berries. Daniel didn't have to beg. Daniel didn't distract Doris. Daniel didn't eat enough. Daniel didn't get a powder bear. No, no, he did not. Daniel didn't steal anything. Daniel stole something from Brody. Okay. Is there going to be a little stinger or is it just going to. All right. Come on, man. Focus. Oh, it's snowing. Okay. Trust me. You can do it. Oh, is he going to use the force? Nice. But oh, have I got all the episodes? Are they all out on the same day? the extras right I'll sort that out yeah episode one is available to play now yeah they're, they're, they're locked off they're, they're just there for the uh... where's this going to take us then Take us to a black screen. Yeah. Okay. So I was going to say it's not. I'm sure it's not available yet. Okay. Life is strange too. So far. So good. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Remember to ring the bell to be notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.